Lights, Grand Ballet for Manufacturers. Here we go from 220 mile an hour on the Mulsanne last week to the Grand Valley Highway. Oh, the Grand Valley Highway. Oh, wow. Grand Valley Highway. Uh, yeah, I won't do that bit again. So, yes, here we are then on the Grand Valley Highway for the next round of manufacturers. What have we got then? Group fours. We're doing 14 laps on the racing soft, medium, and racing hard tyre. We've got ourselves six times fuel wear, one times tyre from BOP, with the racing hard tyre mandatory. So, with one times tyre wear, it looks as though we can do what we did in the couple of nations races ago in the Red Bull where we did three stops racing soft tyre go round put the racing hard on go round back onto the racing softs although with six times fuel wear we may have to just keep an eye on the tank in this one then. And as ever, if you do happen to enjoy my pretty average driving at best on a GT7, do like and subscribe. Really do appreciate it. And if you do enjoy the manufacturer's action here today at Grand Valley, then do let us know by dropping a like on the video and hit the bell for notifications. So you know when I upload new videos of me spinning out and crashing everywhere on Gran Turismo 7. Right then, got myself into the zone. Let's go and qualify. Here we go then, qualifying. Right, let's go round then. Got ourselves round, foot to the floor. Not so bad then, qualifying in P4. Let's get into it, see how we go. Right, here we go. And there we are, P4. Right, all set. Right, away we go then. Manufacturers at Grand Valley. And into the first corner then on the attack straight away. Just hold stations then in P4. Get ourselves around the first corner then nice and cleanly. Start the run down the hill now. Let's watch out there for P5. Right behind us here as we go down the hill for the first time. Got the brakes in nice and early for this hairpin. Down at the bottom of the hill there. Keep an eye out there. Through goes P4 there to Peugeot. Someone else there on the outside of us here. Yep, yeah, there they go in the McLaren. Down to P6 then. Not a bad start then, keeping ourselves out of trouble for the most part. And get ourselves into the race now. Going for it then on the racing soft tyre to start with. Keep an eye on the fuel as well as we go through then with six times fuel wear. Right, so it's given just about eight laps worth of fuel. So yeah, we are going to have to top tank up at some point. Here we are then coming towards the end of the first lap or relatively 
bunched up here at the front. On to lap two, run here on the McLaren. Going towards the first corner. Going alongside their P4 there. Battle there ensuing. Turn the fuel down to power mode two. Meaning less time in the pit lane filling the tank up. We do know how long it takes to fill up the tank in this car from Daily Race C last week. Go with it then on the back of these guys here then. We just sort of try to nail the infield part of the track here. Well, I got myself a time penalty there, not to worry. Well, there's our penalty, knocking us down to P7 then. Got a gap though to the car behind this. Looks as though a race of two halves at the moment. Keep at it then. Get onto the back of P6 there. Lap three with the Porsche now in front of us here. Gonna have to go to the outside for the first corner. We're gonna go for the cut back here. Gonna try to get ourselves through like that. Yeah, back into P6. And now try to keep the car at bay, working down the hill. Really try to use those racing soft tires we've got on here. One times tire wear, so they won't go away. Just like that, we're gonna have them for quite a few laps at the very least. Oh, and I've done it again. Going on today, very fine around the Grand Valley Highway in terms of, of time penalties and track limits and all that. Well, after you, and back where we were, P7. We'll try not to do that again for the rest of the race. Right, lap four, five and a half laps left. About end of lap nine, isn't it, for the uh, tyre stop. Getting ourselves into the groove then. P7, 4.4 seconds clear off the car behind. 1.2 just off the car in front of us there. Try not to get any more track penalties. Just there on those corners there. Power mode two. I'm not really fussed in this one about the short shifting like we were doing in Daily Race C last week. But just bear in mind how much time, as I say, it takes to fill up the tank. I think because of that, it might be working out. When we go onto the racing hard tyre of just staying on the racing hards, we're going to spend enough time as it is in the pit lane, topping up the tank. An extra stop for another set of racing softs. Is it really going to be worth it? I don't know. We'll carry on onto lap five. We'll see how we get on. It all seems to have settled now, doesn't it? Here we are in P7. Got to get your braking right for this hairpin here and try not to fly off onto the beach with all the seals. I'm half tempted to put it back in mix one. On, although it depends how much or how quick the fuel is going to get used up keep it here uses less fuel and we'll have less laps to do of the race when we make the pit stop so six laps or so in power mode one i think yeah we should be okay with that and round about then maybe the race will start to turn a bit and we'll start to move up the order maybe the cars behind are saving fuel and at some point later on down the line they'll be right with us who knows lap six and we're just sitting aren't we at three seconds now so i'm gonna say not so bad got about another three-ish yeah three-ish laps to go before pit stop time got to be careful as well of the wind direction on grand valley especially coming down the hill if the wind is in the wrong direction it can be pretty awkward yeah one times tire wear we're not really going to have any problems with the tires in this one when we get onto the racing cars we will be running in power mode one until lap seven then still here where we are p7 i think today the wind direction on this bit is yeah it's just about right i'll try to use as much of the racetrack as you can on the hairpin there and just guide the car through here and back onto the bridge then 3.7 yeah six seconds into the car behind so yeah just sort of on our own at the moment then see if the pit stops are gonna throw things around a bit mix up the order unless i'm the only one that has to make a pit stop and it's the only car saving fuel plot twist now there we are then pit stop in front of us there that's at the start of lap eight is gonna bump us into p6 i think yeah end of this lap is gonna be my pit stop i reckon it worth turning down the power on the way back to the pit lane keep as much fuel in the tank as we can minimize the time for stationary give it a go got 5.6 seconds to the car behind i mean I, I don't really think it will save that big amount of time but you never know it could save us about a second so yeah give it a try right eight plus six is 14 i've got one lap left now i'll put six laps in when we go in here we go Away we go then. Lorry of activity then in the pit lane. Racing hard tyres. I've got seven laps of fuel in the car. Put in a bit extra so we can push power mode one. Hopefully 
all the way to the end and we continue in P9. Well yeah now on the racing car tyre it's got to really sort of watch it through this bit of a middle bit of the lap here. I'm not sure it's really worth making another start. Top two there have definitely run their tanks pretty much dry haven't they? But a very very quick oh taking a penalty. We'll press on on to the 10th lap here. No more stops at the moment then so holding stations in P9. Do our thing then. Try to keep the cars behind us behind. Just a bit cumbersome through here on the racing car tyre. It's not quite flat. That's going to invite the Porsche there on the outside. Oh, they've outbraked themselves. Just go back through like that. Get ourselves back alongside. There they are. Just going through there into P9. Oh, I've had a bit of a look there on the inside. Sort of closed the door there at the last minute, didn't they? Now, what's that behind us there? Is that a Ferrari? Is it a Ferrari? I don't know. Looks like it. Yeah, it's a Ferrari, isn't it? Ferrari going through to P10. Not sure if these guys have stopped or not there. Very quick at the moment. Could still be on the racing soft tyre. Oh, but yeah, it's really on the racing hard tyres. Come on. There's bound to be some more pit stops going on before this race has run its course. Lap 11, three to go. And the battle there in front there between the Porsche and the Ferrari there. Catching the curve there on the way through. Yeah, I think if I'd stopped again, gone back on the racing soft tyre, I've just been too far behind to really do anything. It was the Porsche there going through into P93. Or battle there going on now for that position. It's going to allow us there to close back in through this section here. We'll try to close back in. Anyway, you know, I reckon half these guys at the back here starting on the racing hard tyre. They're just quick, aren't they? Compared to us anyway. But P12 that's caught right up to the back of us now. We're going backwards. Still to make a pit stop now for the racing soft tyre with two laps to go. We won't catch them. We'd have way too much work to do to catch them. So it looks as though then two laps to go. Damage limitation. Yeah, I think P11's on the racing soft tyre. And that sort of gap in the field at the start was because of the guys at the back being on the racing hard tyre. Sure, we can do our thing and hold on to P12. Right, two laps to go. Got a pit stop there so that's going to move us back into p11 got maximum power can't really do much else at the minute what i can do though is not drive off the edge of the track there and onto the seaside just in case now i think of working it through holding on to what we've got right well there's the porsche and there's the porsche trying to make a move and there's the porsche making a move and there's the porsche into p11 and it just yeah we've just got nothing have we nothing really to fight with in the closing stages Paul, oh, this and sylvia are going to be limping to the finish line at this rate right to get ourselves round the final lap now on that final lap and we are with the cars in front now it's 2.2 to the car behind then so we should be i would say okay for where we are now there's the porsche going down the inside of the other porsche there yeah the gap there 2.4 back to p13 so as i say we should be all right to stay where we are just get ourselves round the chicane for the final time here at grand valley i think that's about it just get to the finish line oh and the thing there right at the end of the race there it's going to put it to p11 and maybe p10 here Well, I'm not quite sure what happened there at the end, but we came through in P9. Uh, not so bad in the end, as I say, the strategy was a bit, yeah, maybe start on the racing hards, then go to the racing softs, or just maybe the Nissan Silvia is just not the car against all the Porsches out there. But still, good race, and we'll get ourselves back to Nations next week, which I believe is on Special Stage Route X, so that'll be interesting. We'll see how we get on.